Hey everyone, welcome back with another session of social studies. So today we'll start a new chapter that is conquering distances. Now, while we'll begin uh, while beginning the chapter, so quite naturally uh, the question comes uh, conquering distances. Why? Well, so uh, the thing is like um, human beings have progressed a lot. Isn't it? Now the early humans they used to uh, live. Uh, like uh, their life and slowly and steadily they just uh, progressed in their life lifestyle and they have developed in different forms in different aspects and which uh, like help them to grow in all particular sectors now in the in the transportation sector also so they have developed a lot and we will discuss about all these things in this chapter now while talking about this transportation now what does this transportation mean now the movement of people and goods from one location to another is called transportation fine now when we talk about this transportation now uh, early humans they used to travel on foot we all know this isn't it so gradually they invented wheel now the invention of wheel was the greatest achievement of the early humans now it changed their lives drastically all right so uh, and drastically along with that these early human they used to use the wheel to move heavy objects all right and also as a means of transport and for pottery okay so these are the different usage uh, the first uh, in the first stage how wheel help them a lot now as we talk about the first important invention in the form of wheel the second most important invention was the steam engine All right. Now the steam engine was invented by a British scientist named James Watt. You can see the picture here. James Watt. Now, uh in the beginning, like the steam engine was first used in the textile industry in England. Textile industry means different types of clothes and raw materials for carrying raw materials from one place to another. All right. Now, later on, it was used in railways. It was used in railways now however today these steam engines are replaced by engines that use diesel and electricity okay now mineral oil in the form of diesel and petrol is used to run like different kinds of vehicles fine now uh, human beings uh, man constructed roads and they laid the railways to run the vehicles Isn't it? So a vast network of roads and railways revolutionized the transport system all over the world. Now the development of airplanes and ships also added to the movement of goods and people. All right. So the transport system, uh, like, uh, can be divided into three categories. All right. now uh, the categories are suppose uh, air transport land transport and water transport okay now this land transport are further divided into two parts that is one is the roadways another is the railways all right so today we will first start discussing about the roadways now the first roads were made of mud and stones all right so they were called kachcha roads Fine. Now they were narrow and they were rough too. Now animal-driven carts moved on them, but later these carts gave way to mechanized vehicles, which required better and wider roads. All right. And that time, these unmetalled or kacha roads were replaced by the pakka roads. All right. Or the metal roads. now these metal road these slowly and steadily improved the movement of goods and people all right now along with all these today many types of roads exist in this world so the roads that connect state capitals or major cities okay are known as national highways or you can call them as freeways or expressways fine now these roads are broad and are divided into two parts now each part is further divided into many lanes so as you have heard the terms like four lane highway six lane highways eight lane highways 
so these are all the uh, highways and these are like made into a these are divided into each part and each part are further divided into many lengths all right now who takes care of all these national highways and development of these highways the national highways are maintained by the central government of each country okay and in india it is maintained by the what central government headed by our uh, narendra modi ji all right now if we talk about this uh, national highways the major cities of a state are connected by state highways okay now these state highways they are looked after by the state government fine now sometimes what happens two neighboring countries are connected to one another by roads as we have the neighboring countries nepal bhutan bangladesh pakistan myanmar china so we all are connected via roadways also so these roads are known as international highways all right now if we see for example the grand trunk road or the gt road connects kolkata in india with peshawar in pakistan along with that hindustan tibet road we have it connects india with china all right so these city roads also have these flyovers okay the city roads also have these flyovers on them now uh, when we talk about this development of roadways in each and every areas now the thing is like the development of the roadways have also led to many problems if we see that now air and noise pollution have increased tremendously along with that road accidents also occur frequently so our government is implying strict rules for safe driving and reduction of pollution so even they have given a, a nice caption you can say safety caption isn't it safe drive save life so these are the safety caption that is provided everywhere all right it is given by the state government all right now all these things these are uh, the different informations about the roadways so next move on to the railways now the most popular means of public transport in india is the railways we all know this now railways help in large scale movement of goods and passengers now uh, when we uh, travel by bus or car the limitations of carrying goods and passengers uh, what get lessened so when we travel via railways that is trains so the uh, limitations increases all right so who introduced the railways in india the british introduced the railways in india so they were the one who introduced the first railway in india now the first train ran between bombay which we call it as mumbai right now and thane in 1853 So in 1853 the first train ran between Bombay to Thane. All right. Now these network of Indian railways it is the largest in Asia and the second largest in the whole world. And first we know it as our United States. Okay. So the Shatabdi Express as the in a railway Indian railway system is the second largest in the world. The we have for example like the Shatabdi Express and the Rajdhani Express uh, trains. these are the superfast trains and which have a speed over 100 km per hour all right and if we talk about the luxury trains so right now india also has luxury trains like the palace on wheels and the deccan queen all right so these are the different luxury train and now recently new one came up that is the maharaja express all right that one so the railway network in, in india has improved a lot in few areas but also in few areas they are lagging behind so the government is trying very hard to improve those areas all right now if we talk about uh, the other continents such as the railway network in europe and north america is well developed now japan france and germany they have trains that run at a speed of more than 400 km per hour the tgv or train a grand vitesse of france is the fastest train all right along with that we have the bullet train of japan and the maglev in china 
these are also the super fast trains okay now the railways that connect the cities on the atlantic coast with the cities on the pacific coast are called transcontinental railways now such railways exist in usa and canada you can see the picture here so basically these uh, like <coughs> But these railways, they like go via different tunnels, big, big tunnels. So France and England are linked by a tunnel, which is under the English Channel. All right. Now, the Trans-Siberian Railway line in Russia, you can see the picture down here. The Trans-Siberian Railway line in Russia is the longest railway line in the whole world. All right. Now, along with all these, a railway that connects various places in a city is called a metro. See here. So, London, New York, Tokyo, Moscow, all these countries, they have metro railways. And in India, if we talk about Kolkata, Delhi, Hyderabad, they have metro railway systems. Alright? So, that's all we have in this session. I hope you liked it. So, until the next time, bye-bye.